In this session, we'll begin to add dimensions to the drawing of the bracket that we started in the previous session. We'll begin by right-clicking the mouse while it is located in the standard toolbar and then selecting the dimension option. Now we'll click on the dimension style icon that is located on the dimension toolbar. In the Dimension Style Manager window, we'll now click on the New button in order to define a new set of parameters for our dimensions. For the new name, we'll key in Mechanical and then click on the Continue button. We'll now select the Primary Units tab and then set the unit format to Fractional. Now we'll select the Next tab and then set the text height to 0.125. For our final adjustment, we'll click on the Line and Arrows tab and set both the Extend and Arrow size to 0.125 and then set the center mark to Line. We'll now click on the OK button to establish these settings. Finally, we'll click on the Set Current button to make Mechanical Style the current style being used, followed by clicking on the Close button. Prior to placing any centerline symbols on our drawing, we'll click in the layer control box and set the current layer to be the centerline layer. And now we'll click on the center mark icon in the dimension toolbar followed by selecting the circles. Since we are now ready to add dimensions to our drawing, we'll click on the layer control box and set dimensions as our current layer. And now we'll click on the Linear Dimension icon in the Dimension Toolbar. In order to place a dimension on our drawing, we'll start by left-clicking on the two endpoints between which we want to dimension. Then we'll left-click at the location where we want to place the dimensioning text. We'll continue to add the linear dimensions shown here.